Dog the bounty hunter let his daughter's passion for racial equality and BLM sink their relationship, at least that's what she's claiming, but Dog's pushing back, calling her brainwashed. Bonnie Chapman, biological daughter of Dog and the late Beth Chapman, tells TMZ, she believes her continued work with Unleashed TV, a network that canned her dad this year, is the true impetus behind her and her stepsis, Cicely, not getting an invite to his wedding. The whole thing boiled over this past weekend when Dog's new fiancé, Francie Frayne, allegedly sent Bonnie a scathing text, which seems to allude to Bonnie's continued partnership with the network. It reads, in part, L.E.T.S. not beat around the bush, you and Cicely both know you haven't been invited to the wedding because you're, sick, living under the same roof with people who stabbed, him, robbed, lied, manipulated, smeared his name and tried to ruin his career. Getty Bonnie tells us Francie is referring to Dog's cancelled reality series Unleashed, which mysteriously got cut short earlier this year. Bonnie claims her dad got the boot over racial-slash-homophobic epithets he allegedly used, which she says led to the company terminating its contract with him. Bonnie and Cicely still work with UTV on their own show, The System, which focuses on racial justice and supporting BLM, which she claims grinds dogs' gears. She also alleges Dog has called BLM protesters thugs and other derogatory terms. Bonnie says her passionate support of equality for all is her way of keeping her mom's legacy alive, she says Beth always spoke up when she saw someone being wronged. Dog, for his part, says Bonnie's allegations about him are false, and nothing but a misguided attempt to derail his and Francie's wedding. He goes on to say she and Cicely are being groomed by unscrupulous former associates of his, guys he tracked down when they'd allegedly jumped bail, and he suggests they're up to no good now. He ends with this, please pray for Bonnie and Cicely to be released from whatever hold these people have on them, adding, despite the sadness, we feel at this rift in our family, Francie and I are looking forward to celebrating our wedding next week with the rest of our family and close friends.